Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where it's uh it do be raining though. Let's uh let's woof the pups back in the oh dear. Okay, um everybody hurry please, everybody hurry please. Where stranger wolves, where stranger wolves? I was just concerned about a den flood, which is why I wanted to send them back in so soon, because if there is a if there is a den flood, they won't be able to get back in, and we want to know that sooner rather than later. But uh, apparently that is a hare, that is not a stranger wolf. There's the stranger wolf. Get out, get out. Are you the one we are you the one whose butt we kicked yesterday? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Get out. Get out. We're gonna give you a good warning bite for that one. <laughs> Get out of here. We chased you off, not so you could come back. Alright, I guess we can't catch up. But, uh, yeah, that's not a welcome surprise. Good thing we got the pups back in the den, but I'm thankful we didn't have a flood. That could have easily gone a lot worse. <laughs> Let's indeed, Percival's got the right idea. We'll go ahead and get, join him in a howl here. But yeah, welcome back to the adventures of the Swift Pack. We are playing as Moxie, who has a challenge to only be able to hunt doe mule deer. And if you are wondering where that challenge came from, it actually, it came from, oh, well, actually, let's run our lap. I'll, I'll, let's, let's head this way. I'm just trying to figure out where we're going to. Um, hello? Oh, that's a bear. Let's, let's not, let's not mess with that. Um, but yeah, so if you're wondering where that challenge came from, uh, I made a little bit of a wager with B in one of her Wolf Quest episodes, and, uh, I lost that wager, and so the result was that I had to do a challenge, and I thought, why not to take it a step further and do, like, a whole, a whole playthrough with it, and so we now have Moxie's story and the story of the Swift Pack, where we'll be trying to survive an entire year only eating doe mule deer or whatever we can scavenge, so if there's, uh, if there's a carcass, we are allowed to take advantage of that, and uh, eat off of that for the day, but uh, if there's not, then the only thing we can actually directly hunt is doe mule deer. We are not allowed to uh, to eat anything else or to hunt anything else, at least. So yeah, that is Moxie's challenge. We have to try and see if we can survive. We are playing on challenging, so I figured accurate might be a little too punishing, considering that uh, it, it it do be very tough to um, it do be very tough. Why is this so far away? Well, this doesn't need to be so far away. Let's put the sun post closer. Um, but it'd be very, very punishing. So I figured this would, this would be a little bit more survivable, but not without its challenges. Uh, we do have mate permadeath on, which means that we do have to be very mindful of our dear Percival here. We do not want him to get hurt because uh, he's just as much at risk as we are. But other than that, things have been going pretty well so far, which I hope is not a sign that it's the calm before the storm. Oh, deer time. That's a buck. Never mind. Not deer time. Not deer time. We can't hunt bucks. Only, uh, only the does. We have a very specific challenge with that. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to patrol this border of the territory and start kind of working my way around down here. And we'll see if we uh, find anything interesting along the way. Well, I tracked down a mule deer in hopes we could hunt it, but unfortunately not so much. Maybe this one, maybe this trail will lead us to better luck. The one that we just tracked down was a buck, which definitely can be a thing. Oh, this one's also a buck. Yeah, this is this is not ideal. Third third time's the charm, maybe? Third trail? Is this one gonna yield better results? There's a couple of trails close by each other, it looks like, and we're getting very sidetracked from our hunting or from our from our territory marking too. We'll have to double back. We're we're getting led quite far away from where we were hoping to be. But uh, we do want to make sure we get to do a hunt today because we keep bumping into buck mule deer and not uh, not the does. So I figured it was worth pursuing this. Oh, is this a doe? This is a doe. All right, this is a little bit better. We will actually be able to hunt this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Try to bring her down as quickly as we can. Hopefully Moxie's stamina is, holds out. Percy's got a good bite as well. Oh, he did, but then he uh, then he got kicked off. Oh no, and she's running down into the floodplain here. We gotta be really careful about that because she could just dive right into that water and we could just completely lose her. All right, at least we're still in our territory, but we also probably are on the border of Junction Butte, so we need to be a little bit cautious. I'm gonna hold back a little bit and oh she's gonna pull us straight through bison if we're not careful um i mean can i get a oh percy got a neck bite i was gonna say i was gonna try to try to get a neck bite neck bite with moxie but uh, i'm a little worried she's gonna just lead us right into that bison that's i suppose that is a strategy for getting rid of the rid of the wolves hunting you but dang that's uh 
that's wild then. All right, good thing she didn't get the chance to. We're gonna go ahead and eat and then we're gonna resume marking territory. Try to see if we can just sweep down here. We gotta claim this back from Junction Butte again. They did They did just, just take it. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to go deal with that in a minute. This is the same piece of territory they took before. Are you kidding me? Well, we're gonna claim it back. Put our, put our scent post right in the same spot. This is not your territory, Junction Butte. We are, we are maintaining this to protect our puppies. Leave us alone. And we're gonna mark it all the way up to 100 just to be sure. I'll spend some time howling uh, along with Percy here just to make extra sure that there's, there's no wiggle room, that, that definitely we can make sure these guys uh, have claimed it and, and can hold it. Because, goodness, this is... This do be something, that's for sure. They, they keep fighting us for this hex in particular. And I think this is probably... Probably, yep, that's the last one. Alright. Um, let's make sure we cl claim over that one, and then we might want to just head back. I didn't get to reinforce as much of the territory as, as I was hoping, but we've got a little bit of a run ahead of us, and it might be wise to make sure we go back before the pup's affinity gets too low. Oh, what is this I smell? This is a toy shovel. This is something new. Well, I think that's definitely caught Moxie's attention. I thought that might just be the scent from our den, but no, this is something completely different, and I know Moxie wants in on it. And I, In fact, I think she'd probably just splash straight into water here. Normally, I try to run around that, but I think at this point... She, she's curious. She wants to uh, she wants to know what this is. Is it right here? It is! It is! Look at this! Look what Moxie found! She has got the toy shovel, and uh, I think she is she's quite excited about that. She she's a little bit uh, a little bit fascinated with all these strange human uh, human items, and I think she would uh, she would definitely uh, be wagging her tail about this. <laughs> uh, she is quite excited by what uh, what she's found. So we're going to bring this back to the den now. I was a little worried, though, because I smell crevice lake wolves. <gasps> they are here. They were right. Oh, no, this was avalanche dispersals. Okay, they, this was not. That's avalanche dispersals. That's not ideal, but it's not as bad as it could be. But I was smelling crevice lake somewhere. Now I just smell the avalanche dispersals. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Okay, we're probably fine. I'm just going to bring this back to the den, and we'll see what the puppies think of it. And here we are. We are back to the den. And now we can smell the cooler. <laughs> but I think uh, Moxie would just triumphantly plunk down this shovel and maybe give a bit of a howl as the puppies come out to kind of uh, encourage them to come over and investigate it and see, uh, see what's going on. Percy's crept off behind the den, it seems like. But we will go ahead and feed them as well. Oops, uh, 3F is over. 3F is over there. Um, trying to get food from her dad, it looks like. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, we'll give you food too. Moxie just wanted you guys to see what she had. We'll see if any of them end up playing with I think the shovel is one that uh, you can play with. We have found that one before. As you can see, we didn't get the achievement for it. We actually found that one on our Twitch. And uh, if you have not seen any of our Twitch videos yet, uh, definitely make sure to check that out. You can drop a follow at uh, jzx535. I'll always interrupt it. Eternally interrupted. Every single time interrupted. Uh, yeah, you can drop a follow at jzx535. Uh, on twitch.tv or and make sure to also subscribe to the jplays2 channel here on youtube if you want to catch the vods afterwards in case you miss uh, any of the times when we're live uh, the live content we get the chance to actually interact with so you can submit mate and pup names in real time you can help us make decisions such on where to put our den uh, things like that so if you like having that interactivity we stream most tuesdays and thursdays from 7 p.m to 8 p.m pst uh, so definitely check that out if you are interested. But yeah, hopefully this eagle is almost gone. Uh, I think that's him in the distance and the puppies, yeah. The, uh, the puppies the puppies are pretty safe in the den, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, and we have not named these guys just yet, but we will be very soon. So if you do want to sm submit names for them, then definitely make sure to go ahead and do that. Now we have the chance to, uh, because we will be giving their name them their names very, very soon here. 
so it definitely make sure to submit any names you might want to uh, to send in it's not a guarantee that that name will be chosen uh, i do get a lot i often get hundreds so i can't choose all of them we only have five puppies but uh it will we'll put it in the running and i'll be picking from the names that you guys submit when it comes to deciding what these guys should be called so yeah that's kind of how i tend to do things for this but uh, I think other than that, let's just play with these guys a little bit. Let's make sure everybody's pretty doing pretty good on food. Maybe we'll give them a little bit more food. Um, but other than that, I think everybody's doing pretty good. Oh, oh! I thought one of the puppies had the shovel. Unfortunately, it does not seem so. But, uh, oh my goodness, and 4 is disappearing into the grass. Let's just play with these guys a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.